Good morning, friends, and welcome to Saturday, August 14. Harold Durfee will start us off with I Lift Up Your Name. Saturday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Brenna Lakeson. The scripture reading this morning is John 6, 51 to 58. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The language of Holy Communion is familiar to most Christians today. But in this passage, the disciples are understandably confused. Leading up to this moment, the disciples are pestering Jesus to give them proof that he is who he claims to be. In John 6, 31, they specifically point to God's gift of manna to the Israelites as an example of the kind of proof they are seeking. But Jesus responds by repeating discuss, repeatedly discussing the bread of life as a metaphor for the wholeness of that his salvation offers. But the disciples remain confused and continue to question. Either they're missing the point or the answers that Jesus is giving are not the answers they want. The disciples want to know what to do to be faithful followers. But because Jesus is offering something brand new, there's no text that has these answers. The answers Jesus offer are cryptic at best. Faithfulness is not as straightforward as the disciples want it to be. Some things, sometimes being faithful means interpreting difficult situations or living into answers that don't yet make sense. Faithfulness involves real and difficult sacrifice. In verse 53, Jesus says that without eating the flesh and drinking the blood of the Son of Man, his disciples will have no life in them. They will be dead, either metaphorically or literally, because unless they participate fully in the new life that Jesus offers. In contrast, those who do eat and drink and become part, full part of Jesus will receive eternal life. Making sacrifices of faithfulness involves a life beyond what can be imagined. While living in fear and doubt, Jesus makes it clear that 
The path he demands of his followers will not be an easy one, but it will be one of great rewards. Let us pray. O bread of life, you nourish our bones, you feed our famine, you quench our thirst. Answer our questioning, offer understanding, raise us up so that we may eat and drink in remembrance of you, participating in the eternal life that you graciously offer. Amen. Our closing hymn is One Bread, One Body, verse 2. Body in this one.